Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. We know when electric current is passed through a conductor, it behaves as a magnet. We call this as magnetic effect of current. The magnetic effect of current was uh, intensively studied by two scientists by name Byatt and Servet. And uh, they introduced uh, Byatt Servet lab, which uh, talks about uh, the magnetic field produced by a current carrying conductor. I am going to demonstrate this with the help of a simple experiment. Here I have a magnetic compass on which I have fixed a wire exactly above the magnetic needle. The two ends of this wire is connected to two crocodile clips. Now I am going to pass the current through this wire with the help of a battery which can supply 6 volt and 48 milliampere current. The green crocodile clip is connected to negative terminal and the yellow is connected to positive terminal of this battery. When I do so, you may observe the aluminum pointer shows deflection. Now it reads around 6 degree. Now remove this. Now I am going to pass current of around 2 ampere and voltage here fixed as 6 volt. I cannot tell yellow crotal clip to positive terminal and green to negative terminal. Now I turn on the supply. As you can see, the deflection has increased now. This shows that the strength of magnetic field has increased with increasing the strength of current through this wire. This clearly demonstrates Baird Savet law. I consider a conductor which is connected to cell of this kind. Okay. The cell has got the positive and the negative terminal. We know current always flow from positive terminal and moves towards the negative terminal of the cell. So according to that, the direction of current I will be like this. The current will flow in this uh, direction. Now for my convenience I take a small portion in this uh, current carrying conductor. I call this as length element dl. Okay. As the current I flows through this it can be referred as current element ideal vector. This current element ideal vector. As uh, the element DL acts along the length of the conductor. So, it can be represented as DL vector. Clear? Now, I take on point P. The point P is taken here. At some distance R. At some distance R from this uh, current element. Now, the angle between this line and the current element is found to be theta. Okay. Now at point P, the magnetic field, the strength of magnetic field is a found to be dB vector. And here R cap is a position vector. Fine. And here dB vector is a found to 
vary proportional to the strength of current flowing through this uh, current element. So dv is directly proportional to i. This is uh, the first uh, thing we get from bad servant law. The second uh, it says that dv vector is found to be directly proportional to the magnitude of the length element magnitude of length element so what does it mean it's not dv it's dv what does it mean it means that as the length of the current element increases the magnetic field will also increase clear and at the first expression says that as you increase the strength of a current the magnetic field produced by that conductor will also increase it will expand okay now then we go ahead and see what next it says here dv is found to be directly proportional to the sine of angle theta. Here theta is the angle between this line that connects point P to the current carrying element and this length element dl vector. Clear? Mm -hmm. Then afterwards dp is found to be inversely proportional to the square of distance between current element and the point of p where we find the very measure the magnetic field clear now if you look at the, all these expressions you will find that all of them have uh, the same expression the same term on the left hand side so for my convenience, what I do, just uh, write it this way, just like this. No. Now, I combine them all, then what do I get? I get this, dB is directly proportional to IE DL sin theta. All these things are there on numerator. Then in the denominator we have r square. Okay. Then after that, we know when you remove proportionality, we need to include a concept along with equal to sign. This is what I do. Say okay. I remove proportionality. I include a uh, equal to sign along with that. We need to provide a constant. This constant is called as proportionality constant. So that's IDL sin theta upon R square. Okay. Now I name this constant as K. What? I name this as the constant K. It's IDL sin theta upon R square. What is K here? K is nothing but mu naught upon 4 pi in a SI system. No? SI unit. SI system. I can say. Whereas in case of CG system, K is taken as 1 in a CG system. Here CG stands for centimeter, gram, and second system. CG system. But worldwide we follow SA system. So I in the place of k I write this. So the above expression becomes equal to dB equals to mu naught upon 4 pi ideal sin theta upon r square. Now I'm going to write this in vector form. You see what I do? Make a small change to this db vector mu naught upon 4 pi is get as such here ideal 
is a but the current element it has got the directions ideal with r divided by r square clear then r cap cross r cap how do you obtain this let me show this to you here we know a b sin theta can be as a vector cross b vector now we have followed this method here to get this final expression okay this final expression represents a byte servlet law and it provides us the expression for a number of at a point p to do a current carrying okay now we will discuss a two special cases case one suppose the angle theta is zero when it will be zero if we take a point p on the current element then the angle becomes zero if theta is equal to zero then sin of theta Becomes equal to sine of zero, which is equal to zero. As a result, if you substitute the value of sine theta in this expression, what do you get? D B becomes equal to zero. This shows that the magnetic field becomes zero when we take a point on the current carrying element. Okay. Next, uh, let's find out what happened when. The angle theta is taken as ninety degree. We take theta is equal to ninety degree. Then sine of theta becomes sine ninety, which is equal to one. So for this case, magnetic field obtained to be equal to mu naught upon four pi. Ideal. Upon r square, this is the maximum value of a magnetic field. When the angle between current element and the line that joins the current element to the point P is ninety degree, the magnetic field at point P becomes maximum. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, can you put your questions in the comment section? Thanks for watching.